magazine. It's not a literary journal. Sure, they're going to exploit the connection. And so what? <sighs> well, I just hate it. That's so what? I mean, I never intended it for, to look like that. Surprise. Well, don't just stand there with your mouth hanging open. Aren't you going to give your favorite brother-in-law a big kiss? <laughs> what do you want? Uh, well, I was doing a little business in town. I thought I'd drop by. I, I suppose I should have called. Yes, you should have. Gary's not here. When's he coming home from work? Valine, when, when's Gary coming home? Gary and I aren't together anymore. What? I said that Gary and I have separated. Separate? Uh, separated from what? We're separated from each other. You mean uh, separated like uh, you split up? Yes. Oh. Oh, golly, I'm sorry to hear about that. <laughs> Gosh, I need a drink. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that either. Well, I hope it's just temporary. Uh, am I being indiscreet or... No, don't look at me. I'm just her editor, Joe Cooper. Her editor? Oh, well, it is true then. You know, there's been rumors flying all around Dallas about a book called uh, Corn Crude or Crude Porn or Corn Porn. Capricorn Crude. Yeah, that's it. Capricorn Crude. Yeah. It's supposed to be all about my family. Well, I was tickled to death here about that. Of course, uh, that's more than I could say for my mama and Sue Ellen. I, but I told my mama not to worry about anything, because uh, who would want to read about us anyhow, huh? Well, it's not about the family. It's, it's, it's just a novel. Oh, I see. It's uh, fiction? Yes. Oh, well, I'm kind of disappointed in that. Real life is a hell of a lot more interesting than fiction. You of all people should know about that, Valine. Well, you're going to want to read this book when it comes out. It'll be a blockbuster. Yeah, well, I don't know. Book business kind of dicey. Everybody's watching TV nowadays. Uh, you got some iced tea there, sweetheart. Yes, that's iced tea. I'd... Probably need a glass, won't you? Thank you, thank you. But publishing is really in bad shape. But Kismet Press, that's Val's publisher. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Val's publisher is going to be taken over by a Chicago-based conglomerate. That is, at least they made an offer. I think. Well, I hope. Because they really like the book. Needham Enterprises. You ever heard of them? Native Enterprises. Oh, uh, yeah, I think the granddaddy was in the uh, meatpacking, and boys branched out, and uh, it's supposed to be a pretty good outfit. As a matter of fact, I think they got offices in Dallas. Say, would you want me to nose around when I get back home? Oh, thanks. It's pretty much a fait accompli. Ah, uh -huh. well, I don't know much about literary uh, business, but in uh, my business, there's a thing uh, when, uh, when a big fish eats a little fish, there's blood in the water. You know what I mean? Thank you. Thank you. Ah, oh, Valine, you still got away with iced tea. Uh, Thank you. Look, I gotta be running along. I, I think you got a real winner here, darling, and it's about time to. Nice seeing you. Good, good meeting you. <clears throat> well, well, Lily May, Clamus, what a pleasant surprise. Now let let me take this, darling. That sure is a pretty little thing you got there. <laughs> oh, I, I just love what you all done with this room. It's um. It's really you. Good talk to you. Bye. What's he doing in this house? If I'd have known that, Mama, I wouldn't have let him in. <laughs> <laughs> 